All right, guys, we are back game two, Blitzkrieg, Northern Storm, Blitzkrieg, dominant early game performance, snowballing into a late game powerhouse, spearheaded by that Mordekaiser. Peach, what are we seeing from Storm game two? Well, bands. <laughs> <laughs> Which will Very be nice. <laughs> <clears throat> um, uh, oh, they're right away. Oops. Wow, why is, why is OBS glitching out on me? Um, I think that we will see some definite, uh, yeah, I was going to say we'll definitely see a Tom Kench ban. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see an Akshan or Mordekaiser ban as well. Um, and I feel like Blitzkrieg's bans probably stay the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see why Blitzkrieg would change up anything. I mean, Zyra was annoying, but probably not as annoying as what they were expecting. Don't bother banning the Swain guys. Come on, you heard what she said. The fact she didn't play Swain, maybe it was a pity not doing that. <laughs> but I mean, Hecarim is scary too. Okay, if I was gonna ban one champion from last game, it would not have been Tom Kench. You don't think so? No. Uh, well, okay, if they're oh? fir if they're first picking Akshan, then okay, then I'll I'll allow the Tom Kench ban then. Because if you if you if you're more scared of the Hecarim than the Mordekaiser, you're fine. Um, and if you're first picking Akshan, that's a fourth ban, fine. But I don't know. I mean, obviously he's got utility and he gets big, but they were deleting him pretty easily by the end there. Yeah, agreed. Um, once they started to like just group, he wasn't able to like pick anyone off. You know, be all stealthy against the wall or whatever. Mm -hmm. We didn't really see any clutch revives from him either, did we? Well, I mean, that's part of the problem with Akshan in general, especially when you're a caster and not a player, is that unless you're keeping an eye on the respawn timers, um, you don't really notice someone coming back into a fight, because the fights don't typically last long enough for them to make the long walk. Unless it's right. a teleport. But, I mean, I'm already questioning this Vi pick. Um, I mean... You know, we know Zami, uh, who's subbing in, you know, bless his heart again, played phenomenal last game. Um, I think Vi is, like, way more him than a Mumu, right? You know, uh -huh. we've seen him dominate games as as those kind of carry, engage top laners. Mm -hmm. um, so he maybe he's saying, you know what, like, my turn to do this from the jungle for this team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that, you know. Slot into something a little more comfortable after a game like Game 1, especially when you're not actually, when you're filling in and not actually playing as your, you know your intended team right you know just being dropped into a group of people that you don't really know or don't really play with often really mm -hmm. and uh the galio pickup by uh goonstump so got a, a couple of reversed roles here yeah blitzkrieg putting a lot of respect on that bot lane with the, the three support bands mm -hmm. yeah i mean they're they're being careful i wonder if we can get a fourth oh Apparently that's not allowed. But maybe they're figuring that out. Excuse me, four support pins. <laughs> feels bad to be token. Never pick a fight you can't win. Well, let's hope that uh, Pistol was not playing on playing Nasus or set. Lilia top time? Because I'm pretty sure they were supposed to lose. There was something posted. Oh. Due to a mistake from the League Commissioner, the Game 2 Tier 2 bans are restored. Okay. See, I don't look at the Discord while I'm casting. So... My bad as your, um, as your apprentice for not uh, telling you. Alright, so that's fine then. Uh, a couple of top lane bans. I don't know how likely it was Pistol was going to play either of those, but... No, he can't. <laughs> The, these team, the, this team they've set up doesn't don't really seem like Set or Nasus teams right now. But I was gonna say, I, I feel like Token goes Bard or Blitzcrank here. Well, yeah. they're both Maybe... golden people. You know, if I'm Northern Storm, you know, and I'm Token on that team, like I'm like, yo, like this is y'all's game, right? Like they banned four support characters, right? Mm -hmm. Like Northern Storm, like all of their soul laners, like are. Which what the meta is about soul laners right now, like should be able to carry, right? They well, get the whatever they want. <laughs> Alright guys. They're gonna ban out Nasus and Set. 
What's the exact opposite direction of those two? Demo. Point is playing Rumble Top. It's the Battle of the Cuddly Creatures, top lane. Less so, um, mid lane. Interesting team comps from both teams. Yeah, interesting is definitely the word I'd use. Uh, I'm not a fan of the lack of durability on Storm. Let's start with that. But yeah, I suppose I kinda, it's not a lot of durability on Blitz either. Yeah, it's kind of. I, I wonder if we'll see Zami go like, like the Alonzi Tardis build where he goes like fully Thality, or if he'll go like more like a Bruiser. So, yeah, I, I think that a little more durability out of there. I mean, Graves can get kind of, kind of bulky also if you want him to. Right, but we're gonna see action on ADC, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that actually. I think that yeah. um, there's a lot of mobility on this team. <clears throat> but um, also think of the think of the action bard duo roam. You know what right. I mean? Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, you got the the magical journey and the grappling hook and. There's a lot you can do with that. Yeah, and and if I'm if I'm you know Northern Storms bot lane like they again were uh, you know kept kept Northern Storm in that game in in my humble opinion mm -hmm. um, that game ended way earlier if bot lane wasn't you know as good as breathing. it was yeah yeah exactly so you know maybe this is WD fan and Token being like you know what. Um, like, we're going to make sure that we win this game through bot side, and here's how. And, I mean, I think that um, <laughs> last game, obviously, I mean, you know, Queen Elizabeth is, is fantastic, but I feel like there wasn't as much being done by them, at least in the early game. Um, and so I think that if that same uh, factor applies this time as well, um, things could go worse for Blitzkrieg this mm -hmm. game. Yeah, I mean, Goonstomp and, and Liz just playing it safe, you know, say let's, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it from last game. And I mean, the Morgana, you know, Vi's ult is a very telegraphed CC that Morgana's, you know, mm -hmm. really great into. I'm really wondering, um, with this Bard, because there is a call that Bard could basically with his ultimate be the deciding factor in this game um assuming token uses it properly because if you're in a situation where multiple or you know one or two characters are more fed than the others bard can just take them off the board for three seconds right or, and i mean that could make all the difference in the world i think that if you took the mordekaiser off the board for three seconds in a couple of those fights last game that's the end of the game for blitz um, yeah. or at least, you know, it would be a 5,000 gold differential, not a 13,000. Mm -hmm. There are very few alts like bards that, you know, are potentially detrimental to your team. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, what if, what if bard accidentally, um, alts their backline right as rumble does. And then oh, for sure. now when he has no alt, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? <clears throat> well, hopefully they don't do that. 15 seconds. Bard, 15 seconds. Who's winning? Um, I want to see Northern Storm bust out. I think this bot lane is so so much more like Token and WD fan style. It's so much more like Northern Storm on paper to me. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Northern Storm. I think as long as Northern Storm's bot lane uh, it plays as well or better than last time, and as long as the Vi stays relevant, I think that they have a real shot. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I'm going to go with Blitzkrieg just because I don't believe that Vi's can be relevant often. I'm telling Alonzo Tardis you said that. That's fine. Uh, These guys yeah. have supercomputers because we're already in game. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Blitz <laughs> is going to get my vote again because just because of that Galio skin because I love Gatekeeper Galio. Um, I'm going to go with the one you didn't vote for just to be um, antagonistic. Contrarian more than antagonistic, I would think. You see, I'm Let's a vegetarian? See. Contrarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to start a fight, in which case we can start talking about Dota or something. Okay, Dota sucks. Fight over. 
Yeah, I don't think that's actually true, though. <laughs> in, in every measurable way, Dota is better than League. The only reason why it's not as popular is because it's harder. Okay, we agree Pokemon Unite best MOBA. And... No. I want to say you know what I mean after that, but I don't want Idolites to flame me in the GMA chat again, so... <laughs> Open up channel poll, I put some points on Northern Storm. Too busy casting. I would do it if I... I don't think I have access to. Pretty safe level ones. You know, we, we, we did see uh, <clears throat> Blitzkrieg go into that bot bush, which was spotted by a ward. They just cleared the ward out and said, all right, peace. Oh my god, it's a duck. Oh, the duck left. Did see the duck, though. Happy day. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have actually solo uh, Zami here starting off at level 1, giving Pointy a little more time up in the top side, but of course is behind somehow anyway. Um, I was actually interested to see if there was going to be some level 1 action. It looked as though there had been a thought to try it. Uh, because of like the snare and slow potential that uh, Blitzkrieg brings to the table, but then they backed off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Morgana hits hits that snare, it's pretty gross level one. Speaking of gross level one, Pistol has already chased Pointy away. Ooh, great couple of stuns there. I don't know if the ignite was necessary, but it was used. It was a Good snare. There's a warning ignite, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hey, we have this ability, and we'll have it again in two minutes. Four. Yeah. Is it two four, I think? Is it two? Oh, Hickey Neither. taking a lot of damage here as well. Very... One thing to note. Oh. No, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Token has unsealed spellbook as Bard. Well, that, that'll make for some interesting play possibilities. Good snare there. Oop, good snare the other way also. Gotta keep an eye out for that bard. He'll throw those snares at you. So yeah, keeping an eye out for things. Here comes Lord of Admirals. Pointy is so low here, there's no way he's surviving this. Oh, good flash though. Good flash the other way. One more shot. Alright. What I was going to say is that mid lane's a little bit different now because uh, Galio gets to be played a little bit differently because he's no longer up against a another tank. Now he's got a uh, a caster who doesn't have this best early game in the world and so can be a little bit more aggressive in that matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what the comms were to have Zami clear by himself. You know what I mean? Like, what, uh -huh. what advantage does that give you as a jungler? Yeah, who's to say? And unfortunately, uh, interviews have been cancelled due to the er delays, so we won't be able to ask him. <laughs> ask Zami on the Discord after the games. Uh, feel free to join if you are not a member already. One thing to note too is Zami opted just to go like flat. Oh, here post. comes the big magical journey here. The flash out. Lavor of Admirals is right there as well, but I think he's just going to have to run also using that Graves dash. So. Big potential there, but great job getting out. Meanwhile, up in the top side, Pointy gets a little bit of revenge, almost dying, though. Sorry, you were saying, Peach? Um, I forgot. All right. What was I saying? You said one thing, and then something, and then the <laughs> action happened. I'll oh, big teleport what. here. Pointy's staying around a little bit too long. Maybe this Teemo is going to be right out of the gun. It's going to be close. I think that we're seeing, once again, a little bit of what we were talking about earlier with Northern Storm. They're staying around too long. Yeah. If, you get, if, if you've got no health, and you're up against someone with teleport, or a good jungler, go home. Use a public service announcement. Oh, I was I was making a note that Zami started like with health potions versus the like refillable pot. Okay. Which I'm I'm also curious about. Oh, yeah. good magical journey there by Token, but unfortunately he missed any sort of snare potential, and now he is probably going to die. Oh, good flash though. I would have loved him to go back through his magical journey actually, but he gets out. Yeah, 
weird weird play from token right because wd fan has has such a big wave at his turret that he's not able to follow up on that mm -hmm. so yeah rough top lane for uh northern storm so far and bot hasn't been going great for them but they haven't died yet and they are up in a lot of cs also despite mm -hmm. a couple of rotations they are up about 200 gold in that bot lane So we do have, uh, once again, the red team. This time, though, it is Blitzkrieg going for first dragon. Uh, no real chance to steal here. No real effort to steal either. So they're just going to grab this fire. Smart. I mean, they got that bot Pryo, and, you know, mm -hmm. they have Pryo mid, and they're just like, okay, well, you know, this is pretty free. No, t I mean, Pointy has teleport top over. Ooh. Good taunt there. Teleport coming in for the punish, though, maybe? Pointy... Oh, they're collapsing on the Graves, who was trying to wrap around and get the Vigar. So good job seeing that, and now we got Graves on the run, boys and girls. Is he going to... Oh! Very nice. <laughs> I don't think... I think that it wouldn't have been execution either way, but good job just confirming that. Well played by Admiral, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He tried it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, he did try it, and a great attempt by Goonstomp, because, I mean, just that little combo alone, once again, we're seeing uh, Northern Storm sticking around maybe a little longer than they should. Uh, Hickey that low. But, I mean, this is a, a crazy start to this game. Uh, Blitz in the lead by a thousand gold so far, though. You know, and Pointy did have that TP advantage over Crab. I, I wonder if we'll see if, if like that was the play. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. using your teleport for that. Because Crab will have TP up before Pointy. So I wonder if they'll team fight knowing that. Okay, we have a gank coming up here on the Teemo. Uh, who actually jukes instead of jives. So they might be able to actually cut him off here. Yeah, I think... Okay, so Pistol has done the cloak. But I think they're just going to blind shot until they find him. Yeah. Oh, big taunt there. Might try to get a solo kill. Does manage to wrap that up. Lord of Admirals is here now as well. Uh, this is going to be rough, actually. Zami's going to end up going down to Token as well. Oh, good stun, though. Token is so low level. It's actually kind of painful to see. Ooh. Was Flash up there? No. Okay, I need to actually read Teemo here, because I thought... Okay. That's Poor funny. pistol crab just sitting in the bush. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of funny. Yeah, you almost have to wonder, like, is Togen trying too hard now at this point? You know what I mean? Like, is he forcing things too much, like, with the roaming and, and now just kind of putting himself really far behind? Maybe. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's rough, right? Where is he at right now? He's, he's close to five. How far ahead is Liza? Eh. The whole level. Yeah, it's difficult. Um, and I mean, this is definitely one of the things that people liked about uh, other MOBA games. Like, uh, well, I mean, I think Heroes of the Storm is the only one that actually has specifically global XP. But it really does help a play style like this, where you're able to roam around and do whatever you want. Mm. As we see tokens in the top side now. Top laners both trade flash, but Pointy does pass away. Oh, good stun. Uh, but I think Goonstomp's just gonna be able to walk away. Oh, he does the turnaround, actually. Good taunt. And once again, here comes Lord of Admirals. Oh, fight in the bot lane as well. With no support, Akshan goes down. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I think it might be time for Token to hang out with his actual uh, lane partner for a while. And Ash and Morgana just have so much powerful, easy to land CC that without someone there to kind of help that onslaught, I mean, it was just a matter of time before they turned on uh, WD fan. Yeah, for sure. Oh, missed that dive also. Sorry about that, Goonstar. We were talking about bot lanes. We were watching the bot lane. But Zami actually might... Nope, Zami's actually just going to face check a bush and die here. Or 
ba back check a bush and die here. Good flash. Uh, nice little turnaround there, actually. Oh, and here comes the top lane. They actually get a turnaround here. Amazing job by Northern Storm. That triumph proc keeping Zami alive. Oh, and, no! Yep. Dies from, the dies from the mushroom, though. Rip. Maybe... Just Maybe he should have gone back as opposed to walking around. <laughs> you hate to see it. All right, but I mean, I I feel good about Northern Storm currently. Still, I mean, they're they're less behind than they were last in game one. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, you can't you can't sleep on what kind of impact Rumble can bring to a game. We might about to get impacted by pistol here. Uh, big damage already. Uh, and takes a turret shot as well. Ugh. I mean, he knew he was getting out. <laughs> oh, we got a big what do you do going down here in the bot lane. Uh, grabbing the bard right away, but Lizabear, very low health. Good flash from Liz. She said, no, thank you. Alright, so where is... Okay, so we got Zami down here as well. So currently it's a three on... Uh, three. Uh, but of course, Galio is omnipresent. A uh, lot of low health, though, here. A uh, couple of flashes. There is no steel, and they <laughs> magical journey out. Nice. <laughs> I like that. They thought about it right there. Um, you know, Northern Storm is, is definitely doing a better job staying in this early game than they were last game, but the CS discrepancy between the lanes is like... I mean, Pointy has 39 CS to Pistol Krebs 77. Yeah, you and I mean, I mean, that that's where most of the gold disparity is coming from. I mean, obviously, there have been four kills on this Teemo as well, uh, which has led to a 1,100 gold differential up there. Um, ah, we missed the shutdown up top because we were talking about mid lane a little bit for a second there because mid lane is also a source of a big differential. Not your gold difference. We're going to see Pointy go down here. Um, the, the issue is for Pointy right now is he can clearly trade top, right? But... He keeps getting ambushed, whether it's a gank, whether it's a team of Cohen behind him, what have you. And so he's suffering because of that. Speaking of ambushes, Goonstomp is going to get jumped on here. Uh, does have a dash of his own, and so Zami changes his mind. Yeah, and token level 5, or I think 6 now. Yeah, token just hit 6. I mean, that's really all you need for a bard, right? I mean... I guess we'll see you. How, how much longer does the stun go up per level? <laughs> stun only goes up by 0.4 seconds further level, so technically Bard could stay 6 for the rest of the game. Yeah, my, my Bard knowledge is admittedly lacking. Oh man, but meanwhile Akshan getting caught out. He does have his grappling hook, but doesn't use it. Interesting. Good spell shield, keeping, uh, keeping Miss Ash safe from the Bard ult. Pistol Crab is doing Teemo things. Oh, Token's gonna get caught by level 10. Meanwhile, speaking of getting caught, Hickey's in a little bit of trouble. Nice magical journey there, good stun as well. Uh, almost double stuns them, a lot of damage here. Will they get Goon Stomp? That'd be huge! Oh. Token picks up the kill, Pistol oh. Crab is here though, unfortunately. Um, and Pistol Crab is going to pick up the 2-0, uh, the I think, though the Rumble is coming around as well. Uh, great ultimate there. Uh, good magical journey as well. They actually pick up pistol crab. Zami does. Big damage though. Oh, Graves Alt takes out the Vi. Token, you gotta get out of there. But not too far. Remember what happened last time to poor Zami. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> so back and forth there. Uh, Fan gets spotted and immediately wastes his grappling hook. Uh, should be able to kill J Dog solo here, I think. Arrow is not available, but unfortunately, J Dog is just too fed. Compared to Akshan, the 1100 gold difference, I think, is a factor. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, uh, Akshan has a has a full completed mythic, and he lost a one v one against Ash, who didn't even ult. <clears throat> so that's pretty scary for their ADCs. I don't know if Akshan had heal up. Um, well, if he, he did, he didn't use it. <clears throat> yeah, that was definitely rough. It might have gone better for Akshan if um, he hadn't just kind of like shot the grappling hook into the wall and done nothing with it. 
Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, it, it's new character. It, it's hard to use it perfectly right away. Right. Third dragon up in uh, 80 seconds. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, only one turret down so far, though a couple are very low. Mm -hmm. Bon just is going in again! What is this? Bon, what are you doing? Dying. Dying, Oh, yeah. good double flash. Alright, whatever your thoughts are about the, um... the balance between teams, I don't think that balance is what's making... Fawn face check Ash. Two fights in a row. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, pistol just pushing waves, doing things. I didn't catch what level Rumble is. Uh, dead is his current level. <laughs> 79 stacks on that Vigar. Uh, huge invade here from Blitzkrieg. Uh, gold lead has surpassed 7k now over the last couple of moments. Uh, Rumble is 11. Okay. We do see uh, dragons coming up here pretty quick too. Oh. Yeah, the kills are so quick now I can't even see the characters are fighting just because of how fed Graves is. Uh, they are going to have a couple collapse on him though right now. Good little dash out there though. Um, did land a, a bit of a slow for a second there, but not good enough. Uh, this will probably be the the period at the end of the sentence here. Uh, Zami just Ooh. disappears. Um, that was an interesting blast cone interaction. Uh, Hickey is getting run down. Should get away though, maybe. Yep. Okay, he gets away. Good attempt on the magical journey. Meanwhile, uh, Timo continues split pushing, like the god he is. And Goon goes down. Ooh, big arrow. Oh, we got the Virez. Good flash in there, though. Can they get something done here? Oh, J Dog is so low. Stop watching over power, Congressman. Admirals cleans up, though. Rough. Yeah, see, that's where that unsealed spell book from Bard. Imagine if he had Electrocute or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, right. and they. Pretty, they lost that kind of like 4v5, right? Because Crab was just splitting top. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's rough, right? I mean, the the Teemo split push, um, they did have a couple of good options there. It's crazy how j Dog hasn't died yet, though. Ash has been so low so many times. Oh, uh, Token. Token catches out Admirals, at least stops his backing. But yeah, Token's only level 7. Pretty scary. Yeah, it's been a rough game for uh, for Token. I've noticed um, on some of these blowout games, you can really tell when the uh, the support is, you know, several levels behind. Just kind of what the state of the game is. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it, but like, maybe, it, I don't know, maybe the play was to just get WD Fan ahead. I don't know. I don't really know much about Akshan's, like, carry potential as a, like, a flat-out ABC. <clears throat> and, I mean, again, it's, it's rough. New character. Um, didn't have the the best uh, early game down. 1,600 gold. Pistol Crab, I like how he's just kind of lurking here, though. <laughs> he's literally just sitting in top lane. Stopwatch OP. Call your congressman. Hickey is... Flash. Good, good attempt by Token to keep him alive, but unfortunately not uh, not good enough. <laughs> and I, I don't play a lot of Vigar, but I'll have to make a note of his stacks when he comes up to see, like, you know, it, is Vigar online? Is the game, oh, uh, you know... Oh, Vigar's like, nowhere near much. online. Are you kidding me? He's 0 and 4. <laughs> but stack-wise? Stacks, I think he's at, like, last I checked, I think he was, like, at 70 or 80. For my Vigar one tricks in the GMA chat, how many should he have by now? Yeah, Akshan isn't a hyper carry. I I don't disagree with that, but I think his presence would be helpful. We do have an interesting teleport happening in the backside. Yeah, he's got 94. He's nowhere near online. Face checks the mushroom. 
Pistol Crab. Oh, flashes into the stun. That's really nice. But this Teemo is so durable, which is something you don't think you'd say often. Uh, does get taken out by Zami, though. Very nicely done. Uh, stopwatch once again overpowered. But, you know, there isn't too much... Uh, this is sort of like Game 1, where Northern Storm, you know, you could get a pick off or two, but then they have to run away, or else they'd get wiped. Okay, big teleport coming in here. Uh, Galio just getting involved. Does the game end here? Uh, I don't think so, considering how Blitzkrieg plays. Yeah, they're just leaving. They're probably gonna go for Baron now. This seems to be how they play. They... Yeah, they're going back first. Safe. Yeah, they play safe. They get one turret. They back out. Maybe they go Baron. Uh, maybe they go back and buy. Dragon's up in a minute 20. Yeah, comment in chat says 200 plus is Vigar online. So we're 100 away from that. Facing down a 10 and 1 Graves, 8 and 6 Teemo, 5 and 0 oh Ash, and 11 assist Morgana. So if if if, if you're on Northern Storm Kennels, what what do you try to do to get back online in here? in this game. Um, I think you need to get more wards out there. Um, if you look at the map, they have almost no wards outside of their perimeter. Mm -hmm. um, so that you can see something like the Teemo lurking around um, and try to get picks. It's sort of like last time, only I'm less confident because they don't have an online ADC. Um, and I mean, in theory, if the game goes long enough, Vigar can one-shot everyone. I just don't know if they have a 55 minute game in them. Well, we'll see they're uh, halfway there. No, they're not. Almost halfway. <laughs> it's a 55 minute game. Okay. Calm, calm down, Hell's Rainbow in chat. Man has a right uh -oh. to... Yeah, B big another big jungle invade, uh, leading to high damage. All of a sudden, Graves in the bush, and poor Token, who's level eight, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, Burn the Heretic is right. I think that uh, you know, some sort of ace would really swing the game around for him. Um, Elder is the next dragon up, so the Elder gaming is possible. But, I mean, with the lack of durability in this game, there's very few ways they can survive prolonged fights. I like Pointy just hyper-focusing on J-Dog again, but unfortunately... Oh, they didn't... Okay, 850 goes over to Zami. And gets out. Alright, so one for one there. 35 seconds on J-Dog. They managed to snag Pistol Crab there. Unfortunately, Lord of Admirals is right there as well. Good stun combo. They're making plays. I'm going to give Northern Storm that. They're making plays. Um, unfortunately, they don't have the damage output to really capitalize on them. Mm -hmm. Here comes Goon Stomp, lurking in. Oh, good, good double flash. Good stun there. They should get Goon Stomp Ooh. here. They do. Uh, Zami's got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, back off. You're going to lose uh, the outer limits anyway. Don't die as well. Nice attempt there by Pointy. Lord of Admirals is just so fed, though. 13-1. and one. What a god. Yeah, I mean, he literally does so much damage. A quick look. 331 on his damage. Alright, Token is disconnected. Uh, this game is basically over anyway. So, rough game to bot lane, unfortunately. Not able to get as online as we wanted them to. Once again, very impressive play by Lord of Admirals. And we get another victory screen. Thanks, right? Two victory screens in one night already? Alright, swapping over to that score screen. Lovely. Yeah, look at yeah, the the Teemo damage. Um but also, I mean Northern Storm lost, yeah, but that rumble damage, I mean, almost as much as Graves, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Teemo was doing a great job. 
Um, I think that the uh, the play up in that top lane, there was a lot of work getting done, uh, mm -hmm. especially early game. That that really was a big swing in the momentum. I think was just how rough early game was for that top lane. Uh, shorter game, so worse ward ward score. Uh, but good job uh, keeping pace there by uh, Token up with Elizabeth, who is you know definitely one of the top ward scorers in the league. Um, okay, so that is the first set of games in the tank. Uh, Blitz winning 2-0. Uh, we will be heading into our second set of games very shortly, but uh, closing thoughts from you, Peach. Um, great game from everybody. Um, it was cool that we got to see the new character twice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good game. Interested to see how Akshan is going to affect... Uh, the LCUS. We'll see if we see him a little bit more tonight. Um, tonight's next set of games being White Wolf Option 12, um, which I believe is the only set of games that we have w between the two 2-0 two teams. So yeah. the, the field is going to start lengthening very soon. But <laughs> uh, we'll be uh, transitioning into that real quick here. We're just going to take a quick break. Um, so nobody go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 